I think I'm live. If you're there, introduce yourself. I just wanted to take a few minutes today to introduce myself and let you guys know that I'm Linda and I'm behind the uh, face of Crafty Lady um, creating art for your enjoyment and hopefully in the future maybe helping you along to teach you a little bit about how to paint. But anyway, my name is Linda Shaw. I have been dabbling in the art business for my whole life, pretty much. Um, I... <laughs> Sorry about that. Big truck going by. I am currently at our trailer that I inherited from my mom and dad. Uh, it's in a campground in Sea Isle City, New Jersey, and today's an overcast day, but it's not raining. That's a good thing. It's been raining for two or three days now, so and the mosquitoes aren't too bad. So I'm going to hopefully um, get some wood cut today and continue painting. I base coated a lot of stuff yesterday, and I'll give you a quick tour. But anyway, back to me. Um, I've dabbled around in trying to create things for years and years and years and years. Never made a career out of it, never really did anything with it, it always failed. So I'm trying again. Hey, keep on, keep on plugging along, you know? So anyway, um, I was trying to figure out which kind of a craft to get back to. I used to cr uh, create ceramics back in years ago, back in the 70s. And that kind of died out. I have molds, I have uh, a kiln, the whole thing. And I sold to friends and co-workers. And then got married and had my baby, had my daughter Jamie. And stopped creating and stopped painting to take care of her and raise her from, and worked from home for 10 years. And after the 10 years, then I went back to work at the local school district, which I'm a paraprofessional. Challenging job, but very rewarding. And from there, I've tried to do numerous um, part-time gigs. Um, I've done some work at home part-time, but decided in the last few years, recently I've followed some excellent, excellent coaches online and found out that there's a whole world out there of ways to make a living in the art world online and so I'm going to take a stab at it but anyway my latest thing has been cutting wood out to make ornaments wall signs wall decorations and useful articles and door hangers so we'll see how it goes but anyway, I just wanted to come on here real quick and introduce myself and get my first live out of the way because I am petrified, as you can tell, to even be trying to speak in front of people live, even though I don't see you. You see me. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, anyway, let me take you on a quick tour and let you know um, what I'm up to. But anyway, this is our campground site. That's our porch, which has all of our cushions from our swing on because of all the rain, but that's where I spend a lot of time creating and trying to create. We have a fifth wheel trailer. Um, that was my mom and dad's, and when my mom passed in 2011, um, it became mine. I inherited it. Uh, needs some work done to it this year. There's our fire pit. Um, where we spend many nights having a fire and enjoying the outdoors. Um, I got this sign last year to remind myself that I'm making memories. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's another day in paradise. And that's how I feel every day that I'm here. I'm lucky enough that since I work in a school district, I have off on summers and I'm able to spend my time down here. Um, this is an addition that we put on the side of the, the trailer. It expanded the space quite a bit. And this is my outdoor workstation. 
welcome to my world. It's really not the ideal situation to be doing anything, but this is what I'm going to cut out today. Um, let's face it, beginners have issues. I was cutting this trailer sign out that I want to make for our campsite. I messed it up, so I have to recut that hitch circle. But anyway, these are the, some things that I'm going to be cutting out today. Um, this is a pumpkin trio stack. Oh, what's this? This is going to be a jack-o'-lantern with a ghost on the side. It'll be easier to tell once it's cut out. And this is a scarecrow, believe it or not. It's very hard to tell when it's in this situation. And this is going to be a bookworm with a stack of books. When I go back to school, I'd like to take that back in to display if I still have the same room that I'm in in the past. But anyway, that's my world, my saw. Um, everything's all wet because, like I said, of all the rain. Um, let's go inside. And you can see some more things that I have going on. Um, I have some things base coated. This is from Lori Spelt, one of the coaches that I follow. And I'm going to start painting on that today. This is also, this is a Halloween piece and this is a fall piece. So I'll be working on these. Um, this is one of the palettes that I've made recently. I have some more palettes down here that are ready to start to be painted. I'll show you them someday. I have a lighthouse that I base coated. And this is going to be a sand dollar that's going to, oh, they're outside cutting the grass. You probably can't hear me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is going to be a sand dollar that's going to say welcome to the beach. So I'm excited. One more thing. Inside the trailer, I have a pumpkin that's base coated. Three pumpkins that are going to be painted. That's from the farmer's market next yesterday, or two days ago that I went to. Hey, we got all kinds of things going on in OVR, Ocean View Resort in Sea Isle City. So anyway, um, when I clean the trailer up a little, I'll give you a tour of that. <laughs> but anyway, I don't work under the most ideal situations, but I get it done. There's one of my computers that I use to watch videos and watch Netflix and so on and so forth. And this is my workstation over here. That's a pattern and a class that I'm going to be taking um, next week. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I love this lady. She really has great ideas and great patterns. So anyway, that was a quick tour of what I'm up to, what I'm doing, what I'm hoping to do. And anyway, um, it was nice meeting y'all. I hope you come back. I hope you watch. In the future, hopefully these uh, lives will get a little better and I'll be able to show you what I'm up to. Keep on watching. Talk to you later. Bye.